It's 12.03. I probably have another hour of walking left for today. I just want to take a moment and share this scenic walk again with you. For those of you who never get a chance to see things like this, maybe you live in the desert, maybe you live by the beach, maybe you just never experienced. Thank you. Experience something like this. So I wanted to share this with those who have never seen it before. Let's look at this magnificent view. Miles and miles of trees. It's like a tunnel of trees that hang over the road. Wilderness. It's just magnificent. And I spotted this brick wall. It looks historical. Historical. I'm not sure why it's there. Or even who built it, but you know, imagine the history. Thank you. The history behind that wall. It could be uh, 300 years old. Who knows? Maybe it's part of the house that used to stand there. Look at this river that flows underneath me. Just the majestic view I have by walking across America. just incredible the leaves are starting to turn and falls not very far around the corner just look at this mile after mile of pure beauty it's like a hallmark card <laughs> This walk for me holds so many different meanings. Of course the primary purpose is to raise awareness of all wounded veterans. Old and young, from past and current conflicts, male and female, every branch. Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, and Coast Guard. I don't care if you, you served back in World War One, even further back in the Civil War. To today's current conflict. Have you fought for this country? Well, have you served for this country? If you're a veteran. I don't care if you pushed a pencil or flipped a burger. Whatever you did. If you raised your right hand and swore to defend this country, you're a veteran. And whether your wounds are mental or physical, thank you. I'm walking for you. Oh, if you pay the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you. Or didn't come home. I'm walking for you. So that's the primary reason for my walk. But I also had the incredible joy of experiencing this beauty that America holds. And this is stuff you can't see in a car or can't experience at the same level that I do. You can't smell what's in the air that I can smell. You can smell the fall, the season, the leaves, just amazing. And let me not forget the people I've met. My God, the amazing friendships I've established. Look at this house. It looks very old. And maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Maybe it was built last year, but it looks old. Can you imagine the history in, the, in that home? Getting back to the people I've met. 
and forgive me if I have, if I don't mention you by name, but there's been so many of you. Everyone in the, in every town I've gone through, you have touched my heart. And it's not so much what my walk can do for people. And it's not about me, I'm just, I'm just a vessel with a message. Sure, I'm the face you're gonna see in the newspaper and on television. And it might be my voice or ah. thank you. Or the name you're gonna hear on the radio. But I'm just the vessel carrying the message. I'm not out here to for the fame of it. I'm not trying to get my name on Hollywood lights. I'm just a simple guy with a message. I'm not a hero. Some people have called me a hero. And though I appreciate that, and I appreciate the recognition, the true heroes are those that have come back from combat wounded. And whether it be mentally or physically, they go on every day with their lives with far greater challenges than I'll ever have out here. Those veterans that are confined to wheelchairs, that are confined to respirators, that are confined to canes or walkers or to their bed for the rest of their lives. Those veterans that have prosthetic parts or that have burns over their bodies or that have lost limbs. I read a story about a guy and forgive me if I mispronounce his name. Morocco, I think, was his last name. Lives in Staten Island. Lost all four limbs. Those are the heroes. Whatever injury you can sustain and you go on with your life, you're my hero. My walk is nothing compared to what you do every single day of your life. You're the heroes. I'm just a simple Marine on a mission to bring attention to you. And like I've said a hundred times, and I'll say a million more, I might be the boots on the ground making this walk, but not one single step I take would mean anything if not for the support, thank you, for the continued support from everyone, the constant prayers, the continued words of encouragement every day that I get from my friends and family. You guys help me make this walk a success. I'm just walking, pulling my cart, of course, climbing these amazing hills, but you make it possible. So I thank you and I salute you and I salute my brave brothers and sisters in arms. No, I did not have the honor of serving in combat. No, I never fired a single shot in defense. No, my feet never touched the soil of a combat zone. And I wish I had. My brother, currently serving in Afghanistan, and I wish I was fighting right next to him. So this is my way of fighting for my brothers and sisters that fought for us. Until my last dying breath, I will fight for every one of you. I know I'm not alone when it comes to wanting to remember you. I know there are millions like me out there that have many foundations 
wounded warriors. Great foundation. And there are hundreds like them. And hundreds like me. I'm just one of many that want to bring that overdue and well-deserved attention to you. But I'm just speaking from a personal perspective when I say that to my last dying breath, if I have to hold a bake sale, if I have to shave my legs and put them on eBay, I will spend the rest of my life to my dying days supporting wounded veterans. And of course those that have paid the ultimate price. And to you, I salute you. To my last dying breath, I salute you. Oh, something's coming from behind me. Hope nobody's hurt too bad. Wherever you're going, those people you're going to save have my prayers. Okay, I've talked a year off long enough. Let me close for now until my ending shot. Again, I salute those that served our country and I salute those that are supporting my walk. From my heart, I thank you. Mwah. I love you all. March on, Semper Fi.